Hello everyone and welcome! I am Eddie and we are playing Eador, Masters of the Broken World. Alright, in our last episode we just discovered Mithril in uh, Shikragak. And yes, we are still exploring uh, this province since it's uh, uh, population limited right now. And then we lost all of our population in our uh, in White Sun, the ca our capital. And we found a dark cave with four imps. Yeah, I really don't like uh, imps. The problem is, um, as we saw, they have a magical shot. And they usually focus fire one of your guys. And kill it uh, outright. But four of them might be doable. That's where... Uh, oh, I have 3 speed! I had completely forgotten about that, so that's... That's really useful. Right, that's good. I'm able to kill two of them before they can uh, shoot. I should have healed him. Okay, and we got a wand out of this. And a short sword, and the Walking Dead uh, ritual scroll. Alright, so we still need to explore some more. Uh, let's check our buildings. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get there after that one. And 
and we found the harpy nest. Uh, defended by four harpies. Uh, we might be able to take them on, I think. Okay, so 19 hit points, and ah, they have an attack of 12, that's not good. And obviously they fly. Unfortunately... be able to attack uh, them, yeah. Okay, let's see how that goes. Uh, since uh, they are flying, they are able to uh, uh, to walk on impassable terrain. So let's go here. That's where the nine healing uh, ability from him is uh, really very useful. Unfortunately, we weren't able to kill her. Not good. Those two could come here and attack my healer. So let's just uh, retreat here and uh, block them from doing so. Alright. So. Oh my god, he's out of ammo. And that would be because of that. Oh, that's really, really bad. Okay, fortunately, their counter attack is not um, as strong as their attack, so. Might have a chance. It's going to be tight. Let's give the kill to our level uh, zero sportsman. Okay, and we got a silver bracelet, morale plus one. All right, and uh, we are level ten, so now we can select our uh, specialization. So sniper or archer is the um, the scout specialization. That means we only get to choose between uh, the skills of the, the scouts, but we can level them up to level five. 
Uh, also, we gain the ability to take two shots per turn, uh, but it will cost us some stamina. Adventurer, it's a hybrid between uh, scout and fighter, so he will have access to both of their uh, skill trees, uh, but still limited to level 3. And he gets the ability to instantly change weapons in battle and obtain better reward while uh, searching special locations and performing quests. The ringleader is the hybrid with the commander. Uh, he gets uh, loot more trophies after battle and more riches while plundering and extra mobility. And the ranger is the uh, wizard uh, hybrid. Yes, he gets a bonus to conjuring and uh, exploration and sabotage. sabotage. And so we are going to go archer and we finally can uh, develop marksmanship. Let's hope we'll be able to get uh, Uh, to select marksmanship uh, more uh, than in the past 10 levels because uh, yeah, the level 3, 4 and 5 are really really good. Ok, now our hero is going to get meditation, force march and we get sword breaker, a heavy weapon that we cannot use probably. But we also get quite a lot of money. Uh, let's postpone. I want to. Um, we have some money, and now we're going to have some nice weapons. So, so let's make sure. But I'm, um, yeah, we cannot use it ourselves. So I'm going to have him come back home. Even though we're not finished here. Oh no, so he's going to stay here. And still explore. And we're going to do it the other way around. I'm going to recruit a wire. So the ID here is going to be... Um... That we are not going to recruit any uh, troops for our wire, and we're going to try and make it into a, a one-man army. So at the beginning, it's not going to be very. Um, he's going not going to be very strong. Fortunately, he has um, a good uh, first skill, armor master. Since uh, defense for him is going to be very important. So let's see. Yeah, we only have access to this shitty shield. Okay, we could get that. We will definitely get that. And we're going to bring him here. Oh, and we can uh, use creation again. Oh, that's crap. Um. All right. 
Okay, so... Now let's see... Yeah, that one is going to be better. Stunning blow, attack uh, 4 and 5 and damage weapon. Yeah, it's definitely... That one does a bit more damage and first strike and armor piercing is nice. Um, yeah, stunning blow reduce the target stamina by one uh, every hit. Damage weapon. Anyone who attacks this unit in melee will have its attack decreased by one. The effect, la the effect uh, lasts three turns, so that's pretty good. Um, so that is definitely better because it's a one um, a one-headed weapon. But right now we only have a crappy shield. No, let's keep the shield. So let's bring him back here to set up the, all the loot. Okay, six seems. Yeah, no. Okay, so whoops. I think it's worth it. Let's keep uh, on our path. Alright, so he only has three level one spells, so armor, weapon. And that's for energy. Alright, so for now it's just having me explore. Still too strong. Okay, the deputy of the province of Leat informs you that a local hunter has seen a two headed lizard. This is a very bad sign. Popular belief holds that two headed lizard. A two headed lizard is one of the messengers of the god of death and that you should be prepared for a great misfortune. All the people in the province are panic-stricken. And as you can see, I think that's uh, discontent or very discontent, so... 
let's perform a cleansing ritual. Alright. And yeah, the mood is back up. Yeah, we're good. I think we should. Uh what is that? So that probably means um, since we just built um, the Habit is killed, it reveals hidden deposits in some provinces. Uh, it must mean there's a deposit of something here that we have not found, so let's go find it. the adventurers heading back if dwarf halfling uh, once I tried to attack um, them in an event like that and it turned out that uh, these are adventurers were um, very well known and uh, liked by the population so when I killed them I had a huge drop in uh, in population mood especially here with the unrest already very high I'm just going to talk to them and get uh, half uh, their loot and 5 to yeah so 4 giant spiders obviously for my uh, lone wire it's um, too much right now Okay, monolith, uh, four imps. Yeah, we should be able to take them. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have access to uh, swamp knowledge.
so I'm actually just, uh, since I'm probably not being going to be able to move much. I uh, would have been able to kill him. Whoops. Uh, so you can see now I have uh, the double trap ability, which uh, shouldn't need uh, against them. They only have uh, between 6 and 8 hit points, so... Uh, I can increase uh, the resistance of uh, one of my guys by 3. Or I can cast a fireball. Seven point of magic damage on all units within a range of one hex. And they have two resistances. Still? Might be worth a try. Okay, I couldn't kill them. Uh, still a good shot. Uh, so I'm not actually going to target him. I'm going to target first those that didn't use their uh, uh, their range attack. Level 2, extra stamina. And Jargle, found a Primeval Thicket, Sorcerer, Basilisk, Chan Spider. Nope. And we still haven't found the deposit yet. Uh, so let's hope we will find it in our next episode. Thank you for watching and see you later!